DaVinci Resolve 17 has introduced a couple of new effects, one of them being a pretty cool looking CCTV effect. But obviously it's only available within DaVinci Resolve 17, and it's only available within the studio version, not the free version. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own CCTV start effect. It'll work in either 16 or 17, and it'll work within the free version. We're gonna do it all within the edit tab. We're just gonna use a couple of effects and an adjustment clip doesn't take long and it looks pretty awesome. So my name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech. Let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're currently on the edit tab. So this is the footage I'm gonna use for this CCTV effect. So the first thing we need to do is to grab an adjustment clip because we're gonna do most of the work on the adjustment clip because we can save that for later use. So we're gonna click on the effects library up here on the left. We're gonna expand the toolbox. We're gonna to go to effects and we're gonna grab an adjustment clip and put it on top of our footage like so. And then anything we do to the adjustment clip will affect our own clip underneath. So the first thing we want to do is to make this footage black and white. So we're gonna give the adjustment clip a click and then we're gonna jump into the color tab. Now there are loads of different ways to make your footage black and white. We're just gonna do it the super quick and easy way. Come down to the bottom left here. Make sure you're on this icon here for your color wheels. Make sure you're on number one at the bottom left. You've got saturation here. Just take that to zero and that will automatically make your footage black and white. So to the left of that, you've got contrast. We're just gonna bring that up to add some additional contrast, which will really sell the CCTV effect. But how much you use is entirely up to you. Cool, happy with that. So I'm gonna jump back into the edit tab. Then we need to add our TV scan lines. So we're gonna open up the effects library again. Same place, toolbox. This time we're going to open effects. You need to scroll down until you see the resolve FX stylize area. And you wanna grab the scan lines and drag them onto your adjustment clip. And you'll get these horizontal scan lines appearing on your footage. With the adjustment clip selected, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, go to the open effects tab, and then here you've got a bunch of different settings. Now the only one you really need to mess with is the line frequency. Take that right up to anywhere between about 15 or 20 seems to work well. I'm just gonna go with 18 for now. Now it can be really difficult to actually see what the end result is gonna look like. So just hit Control and F on your keyboard to go full screen, and then you've got a better look at the actual effect. So you can see now we've got all these horizontal scan lines which give it a real sort of TV look. Hit Escape to jump out of there. So that's starting to look pretty good. The next thing I like to apply is a vignette. So same place, under the scan lines you've got vignette. Just drag that onto the adjustment clip. Again, Inspector, Open Effects. You'll just see scan lines at the moment. Just double click on the word scan line and that'll minimize and then you can double click to open up your vignette effect. Again, there's some options in here for you to play with if you want to but all you really need to do is to adjust the size, take it up, so you've just got some darkened edges like that. I'm gonna go with about that, I'm at about 0.9. So that's starting to look pretty good if I hit play. That looks much more like a CCTV at the minute, but the footage is a little bit smooth. I wanna add a bit of skipping, bit of jankiness to make it look more like a CCTV. So there's an easy way to do that as well. We're gonna use the stop motion. So in the effects library, again, same place, stylized, you've got stop motion. Now stop motion you can't apply to an adjustment clip. So you will have to apply this whenever you do the CCTV effect, but it is nice and easy. So grab the stop motion and then apply it directly to your footage, not the adjustment clip, like so. And then now if we hit play, you can see we've got this frame skipping, which looks much more like it. You can of course adjust that, give the clip a click, Inspector, open effects, you've got this frame repeat. The higher the number, the more skipping you'll have. The lower the number, the smoother it will be. So I'm gonna go quite high, I'm gonna go with about seven or eight. And if we hit play, there we go. That's starting to look pretty good. But the CCTV effect isn't finished without some words and letters and numbers and stuff on the screen. Now you could of course use a title if you wanted to, but I've actually found a nice easy way to do this. Make sure that you click on your adjustment clip again, go to workspace, come down to data burn in, give that a click. 
this window will appear. Make sure that you're not on project, make sure you go to clip at the top, and this allows you to add data to that adjustment clip. And it's just a nice easy way of doing this because by default it kind of looks like a CCTV sort of text anyway. So there's loads to choose from. So the first one I like to do, come down to custom text one and give that a tick. And you probably won't be able to see it, but a little black square will just appear on your footage. In this custom output text, just type REC or record or recording or whatever you want to type. And you should see it appear on screen like so. Now above all of that, you've got these options, font size, alignment, font color and background color. These will affect all text that you put on screen. So you can't have different elements using different fonts. They're all going to be the same. However, to move things around independently, you just use these controls underneath. So I'm going to put the record in the top left hand corner. So I'm just going to move these position markers until the record is roughly where I want it. I'm going to go with about that. Now I'm going to enable another custom text. I'm going to tick number two. This one, I'm just going to put date and we'll put today's date, 13, 11, 2020. And we'll do the same thing. We'll move that roughly where I want it. I'm going to go for the top right hand corner this time. Something like that will do. And then the last one, a really quick one to really sell the overall effect. Click on record time code, the one at the very top left. That should appear somewhere in the middle. I'm just going to bring that down so it's slightly lower on the screen like so. Then I'm just going to close this data burn in. And this one's great because this is actually showing the time code from the clip. So as we play, that will automatically be counting up, which again really helps to sell this CCTV effect. And there you go. That to me looks pretty cool. Weren't you happy with it? If you are happy with it, all you need to do, give the adjustment clip a click. In the inspector, go to the video tab and at the top here, you've got name. If you're using DaVinci Resolve 17, you'll need to also go to the file tab. In name, I'm just going to call this CCTV. And then I can drop it into a power bin. So if you don't have power bins enabled, all you need to do, click on view at the top, come right down and make sure that you tick show power bins. And then if you open up your media pool, somewhere on the left hand side, you should now see power bins, click on the master folder. You can create any folders in here if you want to, but all I'm going to do is drag this CCTV into my power bin and now it's there and now it's there. If I open any projects in the future, so let's say this is a brand new project, I can just grab this CCTV adjustment clip, put it on top of my footage. Most of the effects are there ready to go. I then just need to add my data burn in again and it's good to go. It's a nice, quick, easy way of adding a cool looking CCTV effect in not much time at all. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, make sure to put them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see some other general tech and other stuff, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. You take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.